Hello everybody, this is Command Black Kid here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make it so that certain items, like this feather here, can make it so that you have potion and particle effects on you. And this is for Minecraft 1.16 Java Edition. Let's get started! So, first off we need to place down a repeating command block, set to always active. And we're going to type in slash effect, give at a, mbt is selected item, Minecraft feather. I have this command set in the description below, so if you want to go ahead and copy that, that's fine. But the part that you might want to change is this feather part here. Uh, that is if you want to make it a different item that you want to hold, like I can change this to dirt or whatever, and if I was holding dirt, this command would activate. We're gonna, and we're going to have it set to like count 1B. If you want to make it so that you have to have multiple of that item that you're holding at once, you go ahead and change that but I'm just leaving it at 1B for now. Now we have the effect, which is slow falling, and we have it set to one second, which is the lowest you can do. So when you let go of the item, uh, the effect will be on you for one second before it goes away. Then we have the amplifier, which is set to zero, and we have everything else like set to true right here. So that is the effect part all set, and that is actually specific for the slow falling one. Now, just so that you can see what all the other ones are in these command blocks here, we have pretty much the exact same thing at the back um, with the at A, NBT, selected item, Minecraft feather, and stuff like that. Um, we also have jump boost right here. That's the biggest difference. Same amount of seconds. Add higher amplifier so that you can jump a lot higher, and everything is set to true so that the particle effects don't show on you. And this chain command block is set to conditional. You can set it to unconditional. The only difference is conditional has to have a successful response from a command block behind it. So if you're making a curved contraption or whatever, it has to be set to unconditional. But if you're going all out straight, you can set it to conditional if you want. It doesn't really matter if you set it to unconditional or conditional. It's up to you. So we have that set. And it basically just keeps going on for every effect that you want to add on. So for the third effect, I have speed with like one second, zero for an amplifier, although I can change this to A1, so I go even faster. And we have true to hide particles, and voila. Now we have the particle effect, like so. So we have the particle all the way over here, Minecraft firework particle, like so. We have the tilde, tilde 1, tilde for the coordinates and whatnot. And basically, this, the coordinates here are just basically the location of the, the item, or where the particle effect is going to appear. So there's going to be one appearing directly above the command block, and there's going to be one appearing at you. So if you can see the particle over the command block, it should be working. So we have here the delta, like so, which you can just set to zero. It doesn't really matter. We have the speed, which is also set to zero, and the count, which is set to zero. Now, technically, the zero and zero, the pink and orange ones, they're technically ones because computers will start at an integer of zero. So keep that in mind. We have everything set to normal. Uh, if you cannot see the particle effect, I recommend setting it to force because your particle settings may not be allowing all particles. And now you have the at A and BT selected item and all that kind of jazz that I mentioned earlier. So that is everything. Now when I hold this feather here, I go really fast like so. I can jump high and I get slow falling like that. And I have an epic particle trail, which is awesome. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and whatnot as well as dropping a like on the video. And other than that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Bye.